Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, well we've uh, we've been running slow today. It's about 42 degrees out, it hasn't gotten any warmer. We've got some clouds up there. They say it might actually rain on us about four o'clock or something like that. I'm thinking it could be snow. But in any case, we did get the barbed wire down all the way to there. Even figured out a better way to roll up the barbed wire. Took out a post here, took out a post over there, and then tried to clean this out a little bit so we could drive through there. But the ground is frozen so solid that that ain't happening right now. But I can still get in there with the tractor. That's what the mission was. So what we got to do now is I've got this big fur, which is probably partly frozen. So it'll be interesting to see how that mills. It's got kind of a big check in it and I didn't bring my big saw out to cut the end off. My little saw is not going to do that. And then we've got these guys as well. So we're going to try to take this one and turn this into two by six, but somebody laid that down on the deck the wrong way. The small ends down here. Folks, that right there is the pith. So the pith is here, all your juvenile wood, that's all in here like this. We want to take this and we want to make a two by six right here. So that means that and I need my tape to do this right, but we need to take one here, 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 and so on, up and down. What I can do is I can come down from the top here. That's eight inches. So if I make my first cut about at the two inch mark here, that would give me one, two, three, that's not gonna work, okay? So what I have to do is I gotta come in here and just kind of plan this out. Now, I'm looking at the sweep of the log. It's kind of sweeping like this, so that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna run it that way. So what I've gotta do is come at the one inch mark, and boy, I made that two, that's actually two inches. Not bad for doing it by hand without a tape measure. So we're gonna cut that, and we're gonna cut six inches with three being at the center. So we wanna cut there and there. So our six inch cant has to come down here like so, okay? Now what that means is I can then come out here and figure there's a two inch board. That's not gonna make a two inch board, but I can make a one inch board. So I'm gonna wanna take this off right here. Then I can take a one inch board here, a two inch here. And I do the same thing over here. Go two inches, take one off at two inches, and then, yeah, I'm not probably gonna get two inches unless maybe I get a two by four, so I'll shoot for a two by four here. So I'll take that off. So this is my cap cuts, my slabs, is gonna come off there. Now, this guy here needs to be right here in order to box that hard in. That's the only piece of wood then that's gonna have heartwood in it. So then what I can do is I can come up from there and say, okay, two inches is here. So we're gonna cut one across here. Two inches is here. So we're gonna cut one across here. We can get two inches maybe here. So that's gonna give me one, two, three, four. So three above. So we're gonna shoot for three below. Go there, there, and there. We'll do the same thing over here. That one's there. And then two inches there. So our boards should come out. We should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And then what we'll do with these slabs, these split cuts is what these are really called, is we'll look at those and see, we can't get two out of that, but what I could possibly do is get one from here to here, and then you get a four inch out there. And I should be able to do the same thing right here get my four inch, which would be there, and then my six inch would be here. So this one will come out of here, this one will come out of here. These will be two by fours, those will be two by sixes. Now this side here, if I can get a full two inches out of that side, then I can try to come eh, right about here and take a two by six out of here. So we'll get another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what we're gonna shoot for. Now I have to work from the other end because I didn't turn this around. Now there's a way for me to turn it around. I probably won't bother, but we'll see. I might. So give me a minute. We'll get set up. We'll start milling.
<laughs> so what am I doing here? Well, let me tell you. I always say that you've got to get this first cut flat against these side supports. So that guy, it's got to be flat against those side supports. On these bigger logs, what can happen sometimes is you take that cut, you roll it 90, you take a cut, and you roll it again, and it doesn't line up. When that happens, it means you didn't have them flat on your side supports. So what you got to do is roll it back around again, double check it, get it to where it's square, the way it should be, check it with your carpenter square, then skim cut it off. That should fix the problem, and then away you go. Now, the one thing I did was I dropped my tow board roller. So I need to double check and make sure that I'm still there. So I'm at 10 inches here, but I don't think I am back here, folks. One of the things that you've probably seen Kevin do when he's milling in some of the videos that I've done is something that you can always do, and that is drop your head down and look up there, and you see that I'm at nine inches, and down there, that's the pith right there. So the other side's at 10, so I need to lower the other side about half an inch, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead Lower the other end, that tow board roller, because I dropped it and then put it back up. Lower that about half an inch to get this level again. And then I'll go ahead, take that skim cut off to take out that little wedge that I accidentally created. It happens, folks. And then we'll keep going. All right, let's get her done. Hey folks, while I'm at it, do me a favor. I would really love it if you would smash that like button for me. Honestly, it really helps the channel out, tells those YouTube algorithms to share my video a little bit more. So every time you hit that like button, it really helps out the channel and I would love it if you would do that. Thank you very much for that. Let's keep milling.
All right, here we go. So you're going to see something a little different right here. I engaged the band, I ran it into the cant, then I pulled back, hit the simple set again to drop her down to two inches, and then ran it up into the cant again. And all I'm doing is I'm just marking the cant because I kind of messed up a little bit when I didn't have that second cut perpendicular. And then when I did square the cant, I didn't have my toe board exactly right, and I mentioned it earlier. So I ended up with a little bit less cant than I had planned due to that. And as well, there was so much punk in this log that I was just trying to figure out, well, how am I gonna maximize yield and work around the punk that I was dealing with and the fact that I ended up with a slightly smaller cant than I had planned on. So that's all you saw. I was just kind of marking it up, getting it situated, figuring out, okay, what do I need to do to change my plan, still box the heart and keep going. Now let's get her done. And then I'll talk about it again here in just a second and I'll show you what happened. All right, so I messed that up a little bit. <laughs> One, when I caught that little off angle, that took out about an inch of what I had planned. That's gonna happen, folks. But two, check that out. I needed to correct, and so I took a couple one inch boards out to box the heart in. I should have made this one inch right there. So I didn't see it until it was too late. But we'll get the, uh, we'll get the dust blower out. And we'll see what these look like. Uh, it's not looking great though. All right, well, that doesn't look good right there. That's probably from that fungus. Neither does that. They don't look very good. So I hate to say it folks, while some of these logs have turned out nice, there are some big cracks in here, whether that's a wind shake after it died or whether it's um, because of checking, drying. None of these actually look really good uh, and I can't even cut that out. It's pretty much running through them all. We got punk on that one there. So I'll dry them, but I'm not so sure that you know, those are gonna turn out to be much use for anything. I mean, that's pretty badly checked. That's badly checked. Honestly, I hate to say it, but most of this looks like firewood. I think this piece here, I cut the punk out of it down here, but if I cut the punk out, I can get something out of the center, but that might be just one good board out of an entire log, which makes me wonder if I really wanna mess with that one. But this was the butt log, so perhaps that's why we've got all that bad cracks and checking. And I didn't see any ring shake in it, so I didn't think that that was an issue. I knew that this one might not turn out very well. So not only that, but then I messed up. So <laughs> if you think because I make YouTube videos, I always do everything perfect, that ain't the truth, folks. 
but that's how you learn. So in this case, I think I had a good plan. There were two problems with the plan. One was the small end was at the far end, and I don't mind cutting that way, especially on big stuff that I'm worried about trying to get the head past, but in this case, it would have been better to cut from the small end, and I just didn't want to try to turn it around, to be honest with you. It's cold out here, my back hurts. I'm not turning it around. I have a tractor, I could have done it with that maybe, but I didn't. So I went ahead and ran from the other end, and that was fine, but sometimes on bigger logs, and this one wasn't real big, but I was trying to sneak everything out that I could. And, and when, you, when you're doing that, you gotta be careful. And in this case, I didn't make sure I was square up against those side supports. Now, I know a lot of guys say, flip it 180. Well, yeah, but you still gotta flip it 90 to get it into the side supports anyway at some point. So I do it immediately, second cut all the time. I've been doing it that way for, well, a dozen years, folks, over a dozen years and it always works good. But every once in a while, that's why I carry a carpenter square with me. Every once in a while, you misread it, you make your two cuts, they're not perpendicular to one another. So you've got to rotate it back, set it back up, make it, you know, squared up. Unfortunately, when I did that, I didn't get my toe board situated in the right place. So I made that first cut, but I was wedge cutting it down the other end. That wasn't working. So I had to make another cut. Well, that took out about an inch of the log that I'd planned on using. Thankfully, that was all punk anyway, so it didn't really matter. I wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. But in the end, we still got pretty close. Um, we got one, two, three, four, and I can get five, six, seven out of there. I think I was gonna try to get nine or 10. Um, wasn't gonna happen. Part of it was trying not to um, split the pith and trying to capture it. And, and I've talked about wandering piths before. This one here, Actually, there's a little pith right here, but if you go on the other end, you'll find out it's in the center of a one inch board. That means that that pith was actually wandering as well. So it wasn't gonna make a good piece of wood anyway. I should have just went ahead and cut my two inch instead of taking a one inch out. But I didn't know that this is what I was gonna see in there. And that folks right there, that's garbage. That is kindling now, look at this. I can move both sides of that already. So. That's an issue. So I think the question I asked on my last video was, is that wood gonna be any good? Well, not this log. I'm not actually even gonna do anything more with it. Um, I, I don't know that there's a point. I may throw up some of the flitch cuts and see if I can take the punk out of them and get two or three boards. But the rest, folks, that's dug for firewood. That's just the way it is. So I'm gonna get doing that, get those done, get them off the deck. And uh, it's going to be 3 o'clock before we get these stacked and stickered other than the firewood, which I may stack and sticker that too because it'll be a good way to drive the, dry the firewood. So I don't think I'm going to tackle those logs today. And, and you can see that <laughs> we got some dark clouds up there. It's already getting late and the sun's going to go down at about 4 o'clock. So I think it's like 4.24 or something for sunset here. There's not much point in trying to mill past, really past three o'clock. So by the time I get this all dealt with, I think we're gonna be done. So rather than take you along for that road, I think we'll call it good right here. I'll drop another video for you right here to check out. Thanks for watching folks. And hey, don't forget, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a good night. The old jarhead out. I think that's it. Cause that just, that wasn't worth bothering with.